The Tale of Garand and Friends, Part 8. After singing the bewitched boys awake, good morning, we met a wrinkly old warlock by the lake, Stinky. Garand sniffed out his evil plan, then we killed the old man, Backdab. And we were walking in circles again and again and again and again. Oh, wow. This guy looks mean. I could definitely see why he had to go. To be fair, we thought he poisoned you. Oh, yeah, well, to be fair, he didn't. See, we're actually better off now than before we met him, which is funny because he is so much worse off now that he met us. See, I don't think you two are getting this. See, before he met us, he was happy. He was alive. And so you guys beat the sirens by yourselves. Wow. I never expected you two to actually do anything. Ever. You know what I can't figure out? Is why you two weren't affected by the siren song. Because the song just enhanced their sex appeal. Me and Alex weren't affected because we're not attracted to women. I guess that makes sense. Hey, how about you, big guy? Huh? Oh, me? Oh, oh, I, I have a cold. This is a lot of blockage. <coughs> I can't hear very well at all. I'm, and, and, and as a bard, well, my status, it's sort of, I'm attuned to these kind of, well, the important thing is that everyone is okay and we can get on with getting on. Now, the important thing is assessing the party's strengths and weaknesses. So if there is something affecting your susceptibility, I think we all ought to know about it. Don't you, Angie? Enough. Oh. Saved our asses. Good enough for me. Let's get going. Look, there are just some things about my personal life that I like to keep in my personal life. Is that so bad? Hey, so we're friends, right? Yeah. And friends can tell each other anything, right? Yeah. Good, because I know that if I had something important going on with me, I want to be able to tell my friend about it. So, is there something important you want to tell me, or...? Oh, uh, no, not really. But, is there something you maybe want to tell me? No, I'm good. Good thing to have good friends, right? No. Just a few good normal friends like us. And you go on adventures and I'll save your life. Hey, why not? I don't Every go that far now saving and lives. again. Hmm. Alright. The spot looks as good as any. Oh, as good as mm -hmm. any, because no, you're right, it's like two feet off the trail, so yeah, it's Just pretty shut up. for you. Just get a firewood. It'll be a cold night. I'll go. Oh, I'll go with him. Me and Garen, we'll go hang out. No, thank you. I'll be fine on my own. You are not wandering out there alone. I'll go with you. Man, I hope nothing gets you guys. Nothing big and mean and scary. It's okay. Big claws or teeth or anything like that. Just, you got, yeah, you guys just wander off alone out there. It'll be fine. What are you doing? What is, are you dead? Leave me alone, okay? 
Crying? I'm crying and adventuring. Never Garen. Oh no, it's no use. Guess we'll have to rely on Garen again to sing a song for us and kill. You know, a tribe is mostly warriors. Sometimes we have a hard time finding the value in anything other than hunting and battle. <laughs> There's this guy in our tribe who loved making pottery. Woo! And we found out, we laughed, teased him. And then one winter, you know, we didn't have enough food stores to make it through. So, he took all of his pottery to a local town and traded it for the food we needed. Okay. Well, I guess my point is, we have to be open about ourselves, even if we think other people won't appreciate you for who you are. I finally do something right, and I'm immediately punished for it. <laughs> okay, guys. Everyone listen up. Good evening, gentles all. <clears throat> well, I think... I should probably take a moment and clear the air here. I'm comfortable with myself, and um, I have no reason to hide anything from you guys. So, here goes! <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm an L. I knew it! You spend every day with someone, and you think you know them, and then just BAM! Out of nowhere! They're just a whole different person! <laughs> Never would have known just by looking at them. Some guys, you just tell. But Garand? I mean, wow. Totally surprised. I think this is a real eye-opener for me. Come on! The clothes, the hair, the music, his fingernails. The guy has perfect fingernails after weeks in the wilderness. Is this really that big of a surprise, folks? Yes, it's true. I'm an elf. That's why I wasn't affected by the siren's enchantment. See, we're just naturally resistant to those sort of things. Well, really glad you... We're able to share that with us. And I think I speak for us all when I say we're okay with that. Everyone's free to make their own decisions in life. Uh, it's not really a choice. You either are an elf or you're not. Okay, look. I have no problems with elves per se. But I really hate it when they start shoving it in your face. Suddenly I have to watch every word I say or the frickin' tree police are calling me a racist and demanding an apology. Look, guys, I'm still the same old Garand. See? Look, it's no big deal. Nothing's changed. Really. Easy for him to say. He's not the one who has to totally reevaluate their feelings. I mean, I almost told him that I liked him. I could have made a total ass of myself. Why is it that every guy I fall for is either married or of another species? All right, everybody. Let's just put this aside for now and get some rest. 
None of this changes our quest, and we got some rough road ahead of us. You know what, Craig? You're right. If we're gonna make it to the Gumdrop Mountain and through the Candy Cane Forest by morning, we're definitely gonna need to get our rest. Oh, oh man. My feet are killing me. Oh. oh, hey, Darren. Do you think that you could get some of your friends together to make me some new boots overnight? We don't make shoes. That's just a story. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, hey, Garand, do you wrap the presents yourselves or do you, do you hire that out to other lesser peoples or do you have a machine that does that? No? Garand, did you, did you forge the one ring or? No, that was dwarves. But there were seven of you guys, right? Oh, you know what I could really go for? Some cookies. Garrett, which one of these trees has an oven in it? Now, do I just do I just reach into the tree to take what I want, or will the, will will your will your blue brethren with the white hats will they will they hurt me if I do that? <sighs> Garrett, to mate, do you just press your ears together with with a loved one or close friend? Garen, where's your, where's your bow and arrow? Garen, how do you see in the dark since you're colorblind? Garen, what does bark taste like? Garen, do you have any deku nuts on you now? <laughs>